Hi guys, welcome back to Zillennial Budgets. My name is Jess and today we're going to do a book tour and talking about my financial goals of 2022. I decided that this year my budget book is going to be on my iPad. I don't know how to make like a proper planner where it has like the little things on the side and you can like jump around. Not that advanced with my iPad quite yet. And so I just made it pretty simple with how it follows. And then anything I need to go back towards as the year progresses, I have uh, bookmarked them. So then we're able to just find them quickly for like filling out the trackers and things like that. Um, so that makes it a lot easier. This is the quote that I've used on my budget books for the last three years now. This will be my third year of cash envelope stuffing. Um, my first year I just didn't record it on YouTube and so I decided to make it the same one for this year and then maybe next year we'll do a different one. It's just right now I, I really love this quote so I decided to uh, do it on Procreate and just upload it as a PDF. I designed everything that you see in this budget book. I either did it on Procreate or I did it on Excel and then made it into a PDF to upload into this document. First, we're gonna talk about my financial goals because it is the next page and then I'll show you what my budget book layout looks like for this year. So these are my financial goals and my debt. So I decided to have seven goals for the year. First goal is to save $8,000 and move out by October 2022. I also broke down how much I need to save per month. Might not be realistic about how much I'm able to put in every month, but we have a goal. We're going to try to work towards it. And then we're just going to have to literally sell everything I have in my room to make up for it, which sounds dramatic, but I have a lot of shit. So I really can, I can do it. <laughs> I just have to put my mind to it. All right. So save $8,000 to move out. By October 2022, we're currently at 3500 3, So when we minus that, the leftover amount is 4500 which roughly we would have to save this much per month. I don't know if I'm able to do that, especially in the beginning months, because there are some things I need to save up for. Um, I have like a dentist appointment next month, so I wasn't expecting that. I got to save money for that. And then I have to pay myself back for some home reno projects that we had done. So just little things here and there that I'm hoping that I'm get able to get out now, finishing my mom for school and then also travel. If I finish those two, then that will also free up some, some wiggle room in my budget. So hopefully I'm able to just get all those out in the beginning, the first uh, six months of it or less of this year and then i'm able to do what i can for the remaining amounts by october um but that is the goal we we cannot move around this goal so it is very imperative that we stick with this goal guys <laughs> okay and then so number two is to save another one thousand dollars in my emergency fund and that is by the end of the year there's no pressure for this one if i don't make it i'm not gonna be super upset just because I really need to make sure that this is covered so if I only end up with $500 or $600 or $700 I will be happy with it because this is the main priority but if I'm able to reach a thousand I would be super happy with that so um that is by the December of 2022 right now we're at 1000 and then we're gonna minus the 50 because we have 1050 which means we really need to save 950 dollars so then that's about 80 dollars a month after that we move into goal number three and to have general savings at 2500 by December of 2022 so this is how much we want to have in general savings. This is how much I already have in my general savings. So when we subtract it, this is actually how much we need to save. So divided by 12, it's roughly $70 a month. And so I think that's achievable. Number four, we have doubled or almost doubled how much I want to make from selling things, which is about $800. So that means I need to make about $70 a month. Can we do it? We'll see. After that, we have goal number five, which is save an additional $600 because I want to put that in uh, the family loan that I owe. And that is by December of 2022. So then it would be 600 divided by 12, which is $50 a month, which I think I'm able to obtain with my budget. After that, I want to finish these two off and get them done. So it's payback travel and school. And then I broke down... Um, how much I would have to put in each each month if I were to do it by 12 or six months I'm gonna I'm gonna aim to get these done Before that it would be nice if I can get both of these done in The six month mark, which I think is possible But I'm giving myself a little bit of wee leeway just in case like this isn't super important if I'm not able to do it in the six months But this I definitely want to have done in the six months and then my last goal is to find a full-time job. <laughs> I 
I definitely need to do that. Um, otherwise, I probably will be going back to school because there were some master programs I was able to find in Canada that like gives funding to Canadian students. So at least I'd be working towards something because right now I've been at my job for two and a half years and I love it, but there isn't a lot of room for growth right now and I need to move on to the next step, whatever it may be. So this is the goal. If I don't, then it has to be school. So it's one of those two. And that's it. And then I wrote down my current debts as they stand. And then as we can see here, debt is not my, like my, my biggest concern. I really want to focus on savings, but I am paying my minimums and a little bit more on everything. So there's no worry there. And then the next page in my budget book is my mom's $100 challenge, which we'll be working towards. And I already filled in what was in the previous book, just so we're staying consistent. After that, we have the tracker for my emergency fund and my savings. So because I already have $50 towards my 1000 goal for 2022, I just filled those in. And savings is going to be not so satisfying for the first little bit because it does start at 1800 and we're at 1710 so i won't be able to do any coloring in until we get to 1800. after that we have our moving out tracker um i made extra ones because i wasn't sure but realistically we only really need to get to 8000 so we're at 3500 so that's where i've colored in so far and hopefully we're able to make a lot of progress on this page <laughs> After that, we have Christmas and holidays. Holidays being um, Thanksgiving, the 4th of July. Um, it's primarily it. I don't really think we celebrate anything else. Oh, Lunar New Year, which is coming up in February. So just things like that. Um, Christmas, I want to save, I think, really realistically, I only need to get about here. But then if I was about here, I wouldn't be upset either. So it's either one of these two. I think I'm going to make a little mark on that so we know. So either this one or this one, anything more than that is great, but I don't think that's really needed. And I do have a cushion of $215, I believe, for Christmas. So I colored up until the 200 mark. After this, we have the tracker for family loan, which is at a thousand, but I realistically only, well, my goal, not realistically, but my goal is 600. So we only need until here because last year I did, um, I think I saved an extra hundred dollars on top of my goal. I wanted to give myself a little bit of leeway in case, but if I'm not able to like color in this bottom part of family loan at all, I would not be upset because my goal is 600. And then we have my CIBC credit card, which we are currently paying down. So the numbers go downwards and yes. <laughs> and then from here, this one's a little more chaotic. So this is for selling. The goal, like, like we mentioned before, is 800, but I gave myself a little leeway in case we make a little bit more from selling things, which would be great. I would not complain. And then these two are also goals of pay back school, which is the money I need to finish paying my mom and then pay back travel. So they don't have a lot left. I did write here, like full amount was 2000. I already paid 300, 500, 600. So that means at least 600 left I have to pay. I have 362 in my, um, envelope for it which means i really only have to pay back this much and that's why it starts there and then same with paying back travel just figuring out the numbers of where we started how much i've already used how much whatever so on and so forth as you see all right so and the reason this one's already colored in is because i had more cash than i realized so it's actually at 251 so i colored in 286 that's why and again i go down in increments of 25 with my boxes i just prefer that and I think that's all I have for trackers, yeah. Because then this one is my tracker for paying off my CIBC credit card, which is not a goal to finish it, but just tracking, which I did with my RBC credit card in my other budget book from last year. And then we start. So this is my AdSense tracker. This is just how much I'm getting every month, and I just like to track it, nothing crazy. <laughs> and then I have a planning ahead, which I did not do for January. I did paper. Um, just cause I was out, I think, and I just wanted to get it done. I didn't have my iPad. So I was like, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. This is my layout for January, all of January. I'm, I'm still separating my office pay with my fixed income to be for my fixed expenses and then certain, um, long-term savings and, 
uh, transportation in my cash envelopes and then my side income focusing on non-important things that I still obviously want to pay and so I color coordinated based on that just so I know what I'm doing and then breaking down every paycheck so then because I'm not focusing on you know subscriptions and family loan in my office pay they just we just block them out we're not even worrying about it so that makes it a lot easier but then I'm also able to keep everything together and so it's just breaking it down every paycheck and that's it really um i copy this page as many as i need for the month because obviously some months have five weeks some have four and then it moves on to the next planning ahead the next month and that's really all i have for my budget book for this year i think using an ipad will be okay i do prefer paper for this i did i obviously did my cash envelope stuffing and my zero base budgeting on paper for two years but i think it'll be nice to move on to an ipad and bring everything there you can see i changed up my categories and that's why we have different envelopes for my cash envelopes now instead of instead of trying to fit them into both binders and then i brought some envelopes back and so i changed the order i do have other binders they're somewhere in my room i just have to find it but I changed the categories between like fixed expenses and cash envelopes and this is in this binder and then I have long-term savings which is in this clip and I did x some things out like investments down payment future wedding I'm just not focusing on those and so I changed it to like moving out pay myself back pay back travel um because those things are more important right now and then I still have those envelopes and I still have it on the spreadsheet so when I the time comes that I want to use that and then these ones are done because they're not permanent ones it's no big deal and then these are sinking funds so I'm not focusing on some things and that's why it's scribbled out completely and then some things we're not even worrying about but it's all in this binder so I'm hoping that makes sense I still want to change my envelopes but that isn't a priority right now because there's just a lot going on but I'm hoping this new system makes sense to you guys and we're gonna see it in action in the next video because I'm gonna cash stuff my first paycheck for January so if you guys are excited to see that video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye